If chemotherapy is not contraindicated, the option of chemo plus immuno or chemo plus immuno plus PARP are reported. But if chemotherapy is contraindicated, we can offer a chemo-free option to our patient represented by the combination of febrolizumab plus lenvatinib. Endometrial cancer is much more complex with respect to what we have believed for several years and the TGCA project reported that endometrial cancer are four different diseases with a different molecular profile and different approach to treatment. This information are now in our guidelines and help us since diagnosis to stratify the patient in risk groups. The recently published ESGO guidelines reported clearly how we need to manage advanced or recurrent endometrial cancer. For DMMR tumor, they refer specifically to the use of chemotherapy plus immunotherapy followed by immunotherapy. For non-DMMR tumor, the, the algorithm is more complex. If chemotherapy is not contraindicated, the, the option of chemo plus immuno or chemo plus immuno plus PARP are reported. But if chemotherapy is contraindicated, we can offer a chemo-free option to our patient represented by the combination of febrolizumab plus lenvatinib. The guideline does not specify when exactly chemotherapy is contraindicated, leaving the clinician free to decide. But according to the data that we have found, contraindication to chemotherapy can not only be a clinical contraindication, but also, for instance, a situation in which the patient has already received chemo in a new adjuvant or adjuvant setting for which alternative chemo-free option can be proposed. About 50% of our patients respond to immunotherapy when used as a single agent after platinum failure. And these data are so good that in the future we are exploring if immunotherapy can be substituted to chemotherapy in order to provide a chemo-free strategy to our patient. But for patients with known DMMR tumor, immunotherapy as a single agent does not work very well. So in order to increase the percentage of patients that can get benefit from immunotherapy, we evaluate the combination with the TKI inhibitor with antiangiogenic effect. In particular, in Keynote 775, the combination of lembatinib plus pembrolizumab reported a significant increase in progression for survival both in the PMMR population and in all cover population, and also a significant increase in overall survival in all endometrial cancer patients who have received one prior line of platinum. In the LIP001, the same combo was compared with carboplatin paclitaxel in stage 3 and 4 and recurrent endometrial cancer. In the trial, the, the experimental combo failed to demonstrate a significant benefit in progression-free and overall survival patients who have already received chemotherapy in the new adjuvant of adjuvant setting that seems to have a larger benefit. And very recently, we saw a combined analysis of the Keynote 775 and LIP001, putting together all the patients that have received chemotherapy in the new adjuvant and adjuvant setting and confirming large benefit, very good efficacy of Pembrolemba with respect to chemotherapy in this chemopretreated population. Pembrolemba have some toxicity obviously, that we need to manage. In particular, in the trial, there is a percentage of patients, up to 50%, that need to reduce the dose for non-hematological toxicity. Most frequently reported toxicity are hypertension, hypothyroidism, diarrhea, and proteinuria, and fatigue, but most of the toxicity occur during the first nine weeks of treatment that means that the patient should receive careful surveillance during the first nine weeks and also they need to implement some strategy in order to support the patient. And we are not alone because guidelines help us in the management of toxicity. So for the patient that 
can receive chemotherapy, the option to combine chemo plus immunotherapy in the last year, at least uh, three trials have reported a significant increase when we combine chemo plus immunotherapy. The significant increase in uh, PFS was mainly in the DMMR population, but also non-DMMR population seems to have a benefit. And one of these trials, the RUBY trial, reported a significant also overall survival increase. But the benefit of immunotherapy is larger in DMMR for non-DMMR population. Very recently, the, the, another trial, the DUOE, was reported combining carboplatin pacrytaxel plus immunotherapy plus bar inhibitor and reporting a significant increase in progression-free survival with respect to chemotherapy. The overall survival of this trial is not yet mature. So, so many options for our patient, which is absolutely extraordinary. Thank you so much for your attention.